Zach. Yes. Are DSLRs dead? Oh. That is gonna be kind of a hard question to answer. We have the Canon 90D right here. This is a camera that uh, Zach has gotten recently to make some content on over on the Zach Mayfield channel. So make sure you're subscribed to see that. Check it out if you want. Yeah, but this is Cameras and Coffee. Welcome guys, this is episode one. Uh, kind of got inspired Boop. off of our Fujifilm is the Taco Bell of cameras video. Yeah. And uh, I like this format. I kind of want to keep doing it. It's fun. It's really chill. It's a nice break from highly edited stuff. Yeah. So this is just almost like a think of it as like a fake 10 minute podcast, so <laughs> yeah. to speak, where we just kind of cover a topic. So if you have any ideas for topics for future cameras and coffee episodes, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. But again, Zach, I ask you. What's your opinion? Are DSLRs dead oh, in no. 2021? What's your opinion? Okay, well, getting this camera, actually borrowing it from my sister, Yeah. the intention was to like make a video like the 90D in 2021, it's still relevant, mm -hmm. which it totally is. It's still a great option for sure. Sure. But after we took it out and used it for a while, we like, we started realizing, oh, there's a lot of things about mirrorless that I really miss. Yeah, what are some of those things that like you first noticed when using the Canon 90D? Yeah, so the biggest one was the viewfinder. Yeah. Because this one's optical, right. so you can see through it even when it's turned off. Well, the lens, <laughs> there's a, a cap on the lens, folks, so uh, don't subscribe Wait, to well, my channel. To take it. There, <laughs> that's what you do. Uh, uh, yep, there's a, there's a viewfinder, <laughs> that's cool. But since it's optical, looking through it, it's way darker yeah. than an EVF, because some of the modern EVFs like the X-T4, the A7S III, they're really bright, really high resolution. Mm -hmm. And this one, like, it makes it difficult yeah. to get focus and expose. Yeah, because it's like, it's way darker than you'd think it'd be. It's not just like a clear piece of glass looking out your lens. Yeah. It's like, almost like looking through a tinted window. And then also your focus boxes that tell you what's in focus are black. Yeah. At least on the 90D. Yeah, exactly. So, so it, it makes it very difficult. Makes it very difficult to see. Additionally, again, it's an optical viewfinder. So it's not like the electronic viewfinder where you look in it and you are literally getting a visual representation of what you're actually recording. So you can see if it's overexposed, underexposed, without having to look at any of the meters. On this, yeah. it's fully meter based. So that's one thing. What else? Oh, man. I mean, one thing that is kind of dependent on what kind of things you shoot, but there's no silent shutter mode like you have in mirrorless. Okay. Because sometimes, like when I was shooting weddings back in the day, it would have been so nice to have a mirrorless and turn off the sound completely and just get those sniper shots without like alerting people that you're photographing them so you can get those more candid moments. Sure. But this one, it's just, it's got the mirror. It's, it's like, yeah. gunk, gunk, gunk. Which is almost kind of cool in a way. It yeah. has like a really nice meaty, chunky sound. You yes. know what I mean? It's oh, very also, satisfying. And it also has the meaty, chunky body. Yes. Which is something that I really like. Compared to, for instance, we have here the mirrorless Canon EOS M50. Now granted, this is a very small camera. There are obviously mirrorless cameras with better grips, but the mirrorless, they're just skinnier and smaller. And they kind of, I feel like mirrorless cameras got on a kick for a long time of like, how small can we make things? Yeah, and smaller is, not always better, folks. Not always, no. When it comes to are DSLRs dead, I think it's kind of a curious question because here's how I see it, and then you can kind of fill me in on how you see it. I think that DSLRs are dead in terms of like, I don't think we need to make any more. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. the 1DX Mark III came out and it's like, I just didn't see necessarily a reason for that camera to exist because it is better than the 1DX Mark II, but if you're using it for photography, I really don't see too much of a dramatic increase in performance. There were some video improvements, yeah. but I think if you're shooting video, you might as well go mirrorless. So I don't know that you need more DSLR cameras. Like I don't know that the next, whatever the next one will be, the 100D needs to be, um, DSLR, I think they should, yeah. they should go mirrorless. Now that being said, I do know a lot of people who shoot on DSLR cameras and they do incredibly great work, especially a lot of wedding photographers. I know a few that make <laughs> way more money than me <laughs> and um, and they shoot on two 5D Mark IVs. Well, so I guess, yeah, like DSLRs, especially the high-end ones, it's not like there's anything wrong with them. No. Mirrorless just like presents a new wave of features that DSLR can't do. Right. But like, what's better about DSLR? I don't shoot super high-end stuff. Like, right. I don't know. Is there things that are clearly better about DSLR in 2021? Yeah, I don't I don't even know. I, I Honestly, I wanna kind of defer to the comments on that one, cause like, I can't really think of anything about DSLR that I prefer 
over just having a mirrorless camera. Yeah, the one thing I noticed was the grip that we talked about. It's really great and, and deep, so right. you can hold, you can basically just hold the camera with one finger if you want to. Right. And we've had an R6 and R5 in the studio, mm -hmm. which both feel really great. But even when we were side by side comparing the grips, I yeah. still like the 90D better than the R5. Although I will say, I think my favorite grip is a mirrorless camera. It's the Canon EOS R. Yeah, I haven't used that one very much. Yeah, I, I own the Canon EOS R for a while. If you've been following my channel for any length of time, you probably know that. And I loved the grip on that camera. It was just perfect. It was very, very deep because the camera was so thin, thinner than the R5 and the R6 as mm -hmm. well. But the grip was like as large as it is here on the 90D. So I, I quite, I quite like yeah. it a lot. And we have the R3 coming soon yeah. from Canon, which I'm anxious to get my hands on that because it looks so beefy and it looks like a natural evolution of the 1DX line, right. but also combining the benefits of mirrorless to move that style of camera forward. Right. It looks awesome. I, I hope it's good. Um, yeah, it, about it. it could be the sign that mirror, that, well, rather that DSLRs are kind of phasing out, you know? Yeah. You don't see many DSLRs releasing anymore. I think the 90D and the 1DX Mark III might be the only two I can think of that released any sort of recently. Yeah. Can you think of another? I don't know. I don't keep up with Nikon super well. Yeah. But I, I feel like Nikon. maybe they have a DSLR out there yeah. that's new. I don't Oopsie. know. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna now ask the question to you. Are DSLRs dead in 2021? Very dramatic. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for hanging out with us as we kind of drink a little bit of coffee. Had a couple sips. Yeah, talked about some, some camis. So anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Cheers. <laughs>